Hey guys, um, today we are here to review one of the other cars. Uh, it is one of the best uh, cars, best SUVs of UAE. Probably it was made for the UAE back in the 80s. Today it is also for family, for the desert, and it's very, very luxurious. So it's traveled a long time. The ship of the desert, which is the Toyota Land Cruiser. people back in the days used to have this car as a family car and every household every person who was who had more than one car this has to be one of the cars a Land Cruiser or a Nissan Petrol you have the crowd divided into two of the SUVs which is a Land Cruiser or a Nissan Petrol and both the cars are equally good but what keeps Land Cruiser high above the chart is one thing the reliability and the second thing the resale value the resale value in UAE is considered um, very very important and Land Cruiser has the best lease value in the market so in a nutshell it is the safest bet Land Cruiser also is preferred by a lot of people I think in the 80s and the 90s it was always known as the family car put the kids at the like third row all the ladies go at the back and the men sit at the front this is how it works in the Land Cruiser from back in the days uh, the Land Cruiser has evolved into a very very luxurious car I mean, it's always been a family car, but never so luxurious. And the one which we are driving today is the VXR top of the line, which got all the goodies, everything in it. And I'm actually sitting with my brother, who, whose Land Cruiser this is. Let's take a review from a person who actually owns the car. What did, why, why did you get this car? Actually, my family, I required for my family also. And uh, you can say the reliable car for the future. So you mean the resale value? Resale and value, yeah. everything adds in that one. We are actually driving this car. It is a V8. V08. So it's about 300 mm -hmm. horsepower. 300 horsepower. Automatic uh, AC, everything. cruise everything. control, mm -hmm. uh, front radar cameras, uh, height, height, height control, height control, sports, sports gear. Sports gear yeah. It's got a triptronic gear. It's got almost everything. It's got um, all the software mm -hmm. for all kinds of terrain and uh, it's got wooden Board trim, trim, wooden trim leather seats mm. sunroof and you know a passenger entertainment mm. system how much did you get it for uh, it was 308000 308000 yeah but i mean come on it's toyota so obviously uh, but yeah there is one thing about the toyota from back in the days till now it has constantly increased its price I mean, I know that it's become more and more reliable, more and more better, but this car is the only car who has increased its price but still retains that high uh, return value. Okay. How many times do you take it for off-road? Three, four times. Not very high. Yeah. Not Middle, high dunes? In, no, not high dunes. Normal dunes. What do you not like about this car? It's a very high fuel condition. Actually, when I was driving a Lexus, it was 4.6 liter engine. But I was getting around 5.5, for you can say 6 on the highway. But I thought this is a new technology, maybe it gives more that the more. sticker has been showing that okay, it's giving a 8 uh, kilometer per liter, but doesn't work. See, now the fuel consumption is something that is uh, a little bit higher, gone so down, gone down. Yeah. The 7 speed transmission, and it should give more. But I mean. it's not, it's not giving you that. No, much. it's not giving that. Apart from that, what else do you like? Like okay. not like in this car? No, everything is perfect. Alhamdulillah, everything is doing well. There is no problem other there is no other problems except the fuel condition. Okay. That, that was actually a, a surprise for you. Yeah. You are also one of us who have been brought up in UAE. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that you know when were you, uh, how old were you when you came over here and what year? I came at the age of 13 in 1979. 1979. First, land, there was a land cruiser, but the model has been new, launched in that time. Yeah, and, and it was everyone, success that was oh okay. okay your father got that car yeah 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 I remember. that was that was a success full car that was a successful model yeah successful that was model basically 85 was the introduction of land cruiser and uae UA. oh. 84 or 85 i don't remember 84, 85. 85. okay but that was the, the best time when land, land cruiser, cruiser picked up, up. Okay. so now it is more like a family car than a desert or do you think it's still good uh, in the desert as well both you can say you can say it's, it's a family car also plus you can go to in the desert okay. also and then obviously the ones who are looking for a nice decent family and a reliable car will 
always choose Land Cruiser. Right. Okay, so it's basically the choice or the reliability. 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 So it, it's a personal choice altogether. Altogether, yeah. Alright. So, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> it's got a reverse screen. It's got. And this car is like packed with everything. Very clean interior. Nice, soft, um, good screen. I, it has. It has obviously, definitely, you know. The previous Land Cruiser was always, you know, I used to always think that, you know, it is, uh, they made it, they changed it, like there was an older model, I think up to 2007, then they had a new one, which was very plastic interior, what he said, which is true, but I think this model, they actually bought it all up together, and this model is very luxurious, and I think Land Cruiser has come back in the market with a big bang, and uh, I hope Land Cruiser for the best of luck.